Welcome to today's video. I'm the Hooded Lid and today I have some new products for you. I finally got the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks. So there are nine colors in this formula. This is what the package looks like. And I also got a lip liner. And I hope this is the right package because I also got another eye pencil. I did a Will I Buy It video, I don't know, maybe a month ago and included this and said, yes, I'm going to. But I also said, I have to be really careful about it because from the pictures it looked like the undertones were a little iffy for me. I'm I'm just a person where certain colors, a lot of certain colors, just don't work on me. If something has a grayish undertone, it's going to be hard for me. And a lot of the browns that she has going on here, I knew would be a little difficult for me. Unfortunately, she does the computer-generated lip swatches, making it impossible to see what these colors really look like on different skin tones. So I basically had to do it off of the glam shots, as I call them, where the shots were just kind of lined up. The light isn't perfect because it's supposed to be moody and look really beautiful, and it's very, very hard to know how these colors are going to work on me. So the browner colors, I got one, I got spice. The deeper colors I didn't get, not because I didn't think they'd work on me, but because I feel like I already have them. And from there, I, I just, I was kind of at a loss because there wasn't anything in the middle. I already have, I think most of us already have the rosewood kind of colors, so that wasn't interesting to me. And then there were a couple of pinks, but the pinks looked kind of light. And indeed they are. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a full-on lip swatch with both, show you the hand swatches, and then I'm going to take it off, line my lips, and show you some other ways that I can wear these and some comparison swatches. Let's get into it. So here we have Spice and here we have Pout. Let me just kind of move around up and down and I'm thinking on my hand, these are totally doable, but this is why hand swatches are not everything. Let's do spice first. I guess I should say, and this is what the packaging looks like. Now, these are not incredibly opaque, so you kind of want to go back and forth to build. I don't think this does anything for me. I think this is a very difficult color for me personally, but this is what it looks like. And pout. I don't really think this does anything for me either. This, I feel, is a little too light and a little meh. And I will say during the day, it looks a lot better than it does at night. At night, this is, both of them are like, mm, no, this isn't working for me. Now, let's do the liner and then come back. Here's the liner. It comes with a sharpener. If you don't want the sharpener, say, I don't want the sharpener, it's $2 less, but I got the sharpener. I think that's the way they do it with the pencils as well for the eyes. And if you already have one or the other, you don't need that, right? Uh, spoiler alert, I love this pencil. If you were older and you're starting to get these little fine lines and your lips are starting to become uneven, you're going to love this. So my lips have never been uneven. I mean, my lower lip's always been bigger than my upper lip. But I noticed a couple of years ago, this lip is looking really thin. And so a couple of years ago, I decided to try Botox at my 11s and get a little filler to even this up. The Botox I got twice and the lips I got twice. And I decided if I drank a lot of water, my 11 suddenly didn't look so bad, so I'm not doing that. I'm just not ready to commit to doing something uh, every three months. And both the Botox and the filler goes through me pretty fast. They say it can last for 
three months and I found that neither did and what I got here I don't remember what it's called but when I got it they said it can last a year and I thought well, okay well maybe I would do this once a year but when I found it didn't last you know nine weeks ten weeks I'm like no but at that time when I went to get them, she said, it's not that your lips are uneven, it's just that this side of my face is kind of falling. So if I were to go like this, suddenly my lips are even. It's such a little thing, but it bugs me so, so much. And my vermilion, I don't know, I think it might be prominent, making it really hard to overline unless I overline the entire vermilion on both sides. With this pencil, I can overline. Now the light still hits my vermilion in such a way where it doesn't necessarily look like my lips are even, but I am able to line them so that they are even. There's something about this. It's very, very creamy. It's not hard and uncomfortable like the MAC pencils or many other pencils I have. I love this. Now when I did this in the living room, I had my 13x mirror and I could use both hands which I used because I stretched out the lip a little bit but I'm just gonna put on my glasses and do a little lip lighting with just one hand this is color 3 On my lower lip, I have a double line, so there is one that is slightly invisible, and it's right there. So I'm just going to take this down to the double line, and my lower lip is a little uneven too. I'm going to shade around the corners a little bit. Okay, you might not have been able to see all of that, and if not, I probably would edit it out. The point is, this is hands down the best lip liner I have ever tried. It's saying, they're saying that this is waterproof, which is okay. That's a little different than being smudge proof, but we're going to kind of let it hang out for a second, I guess, to set up. Now I want to go in with the pink shade, and we'll see how much better it looks. Now I don't like that 90s look with a really dark liner. and a lighter lip. But I did do some smudging and I did bring the lip line down a little bit so it went onto the actual lip. And there it is. Totally different look. This is Pout, the pink one, the light one. And moving the lips together a lot to just get that color to meld a little bit so much better. Now, I'm going to take that off and just do some padding instead. Actually, I take it back. Just taking it off, I still have some on, but rather than going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, to get opacity, I think that these are actually made for padding on. In fact, it just strikes me the thing is with Victoria Beckham, I believe that we are buying her personal aesthetic. She is not a cosmetics company that's going to make something for one person, something for another person, if you like this kind of makeup, if you like that makeup. She's more like Charlotte Tilbury in the sense that she has a personal aesthetic and her makeup line reflects that personal aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think her personal aesthetic is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I think it's this. That's what I think she's about. Similar look, for sure. Now let's go in with spice. So I've wiped off the pout to the best of my ability without getting the liner. Some of the liner came off. And there. Now All of her liners look to me to be very, very brown, and I wish she had something with a bit more pink so it looks closer to my lip color because I don't like that dark liner look. I just think it's very aging and very old-fashioned. But still, I'm not 
deeply, deeply in love with this color. I'm looking on my computer screen here because I'm using this as my monitor. I'm like, it's not bad, but looking here, it's not great. And to me, when you have the right lipstick color on, you know, like that. So short of you putting something on going, your face looks alive, it's a great color, it just works for me, then I kind of go to the next stage. Is this a color that would be useful to me? And I don't know if it will, because I may have things like it. So let's do some comparison swatching. First, I'm going to put a little bit of pout over that. Mm, no. So here is pout, and as you can see, it's not opaque. I pulled a couple of things that I really like. This is Becca Dusk, and this is a great nude on me. And as you can see, compared to the Becca Pout, not Pout, Spice, there's more pink in the Dusk. The depth of tone is about the same. I will have to write this below. It's hard to read because it's black print on dark brown, but I think this is Ombre. Oh my God, and the scent is killing me. This is the limited edition from Hermes that just came out. And they are, oh, they are all rose-toned colors. Here's the ombre. As you can see, to me, the ombre is more similar to the Becca, but actually has more pink than the Becca. And finally, we have the beignet from Viseart. Now, while these two are more opaque than this one, this is very similar in the fact that it's not an incredibly opaque color. And there's the beignet. And to me, this isn't too far off from the beignet. This one is the Beckham, and this is the beignet. And to me, now, <laughs> this has a little pink in it, which I know it really doesn't. but. I don't know, I feel like if you have the beignet, you might not need that. But the beignet is weird on me too. It's just, I can live with it because it is so transparent. I would say, rather than the spice having more pink in it, the beignet has more yellow in it. Now let's take a look at pout. Pout by itself, you can see there's a transparency to it without a doubt. This is Revlon Shine in 002 and it's not exactly the same but it's the closest I have in this idea and there it is and you can see there's a lot more pink to that one and I actually like to use this either alone or just to make something that's a little too dead on me a little bit more lively. Dior Addict Stellar Shine in 439. Oh I rhymed. Like yay. Now this one is a little more, in comparison, maybe has a little bit more apricot in it. I, I put it here, right below as well, so you can see a, a better head-to-head. -head. Turning both ways, so you can see how the light reflects on it. I would say that this one is a little bit more comfortable. There's a heaviness to the Beckham. Just saying. And then finally, this is more opaque, but this is Dolce Vita from NARS. And here is the Dolce Vita. It seems kind of close to me. This is not the first time <laughs> Dolce Vita I've used recently to do a swatch comparison. And it's funny because I never wear this because I prefer the pencil that they make because it's more matte. I find that when I put on the Dolce Vita, the light reflects off my lip and as it does that, it changes the color of this. It, it's hard to explain. But there we have some ideas of comparisons to pout. If I don't have the same skin tone as you, you can at least see some things that I have and how they relate to each other. And maybe decide if you don't need the Beckhams. They're not a bad price though, I have to say. They are very elegant packaging. This is just so pretty. It has a nice sturdy snap when you close it. To me, the hands down winner though, is this pencil. It's so wonderful. If you are getting older and you have lip lines and unevenness and all that other kind of stuff, 
I have pencils, you know, and I have pencils, the Patrick Ta. I'm like, okay, you know, but I don't feel like, oh, this is going to save my look. I've got the M Cosmetics. Those are my two newest ones, and it's okay, but they're really not something that you can use if you, like me, are aging and have maybe uneven lips, or you have a lot of little lip lines going on, making it so hard to put the pencil precisely where you want it to be. So oftentimes when I get to a line, the pencil will either go underneath that line or above that line. And with this, I do not have that problem. This is the star of the show. And it's interesting because her eyeliners, I love. So while I was picking up these three things, I also got the liner in Coco. I had originally got it in the Bordeaux, and I loved it so much I wanted the Coco, but it was always out of stock, and yay! I lucked out, not out of stock. So I'm just going to show you what's going on with this. This just is so soft. I'm hardly touching. And it has this is the best smudger I've ever come across. Most smudgers I find to be more porous, more hard, and more irritating. And this one is soft. Now I do have some foundation or something going on in my eyes. And now we're going to do the waterline. I wouldn't close the eye like I just did because I felt like it was kind of melting and sure enough right here because it's so soft the heat of having both pieces of skin on it just melted a little too fast take a little Muji and take that off left a little which I'm in fine with love all right, mascara is done, and I relined. I, I think I probably took off some of that liner when I took off the lipstick. But here is the pout with a little bit of the liner. I think I, it is a little bit hard right here for my taste, that because this pink is a little too light for me, I, I need to have that liner on. So there you go. For me, you guys, the colors were tricky with this collection. I knew out of the gate that they would be, and I knew that I was buying her aesthetic, not mine. And I think that's exactly what we have, is her aesthetic. Both of these pencils are fantastic. I wish she had more colors, maybe a little bit closer to my lip color, so I don't have that old-fashioned brown liner look going on in my lips. And this one seemed like it would be the best match for me. I would love to see these in person or hand swatches or something. So while I'm saying it, why don't I give you a hand swatch? So here's the hand swatch. In theory, this looks like a really, really good lip color, but for me, it's a little too brown. And that's it, you guys. I love these. These feel a little bit thick to me, a little bit heavy to me. I've worn things that are more comfortable, like the Dior is more comfortable. Even this is more comfortable. There's a heaviness to it that I don't love. But if you don't go rah, 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 and try to make this opaque, which it's not meant to be, then just dabbing it on, it's not so bad at all. It's just the colors aren't fantastic for me. I need my lip color to do something for me, just like I need my blush color to do something for me. And I don't think it does, which doesn't mean that it isn't appropriate in my collection or in your collection because there might be times when you have a big eye and you want your eyes to be the star of the show and you just want a little something on the lips, something that's not distracting, something that's not competing with your eyes, then maybe this would be the way to go and great for topping off. The other day I did a look with the Zendo palette uh, from Natasha Denona and after I did the video, I looked in the mirror and I thought, it's just too much of all the same tone, and I needed a little pop somewhere, so my cheeks and my eyes, I felt, were too similar to each other, along with my lips. And I just popped on a little bit of pink over that, and suddenly it came alive, and the whole look was more suitable, more lively for my skin tone, my coloring, and this kind of product, I think, would be perfect for doing something like that. So. It's not that I don't like them, it's just that I'm not in love with them and the colors are difficult for me. 
And that's it, my friends. That is Victoria Beckham's new posh lipstick. It's not opaque. I don't know if I would call it a lipstick, but it is in a bullet, so I guess it's a lipstick. And the lip liner, which I love, and the eyeliner, which I also love. She's really knocking it out formulation-wise with these liners. Super, super happy to have both of them. There we have it. I hope this might have been helpful, especially the swatch portion of the video, because I know how hard it is to get an idea of what colors we're buying, especially when companies choose to do computer-generated lip swatches, which are completely not useful. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart and I'm wishing you good health.